Hey, go turn on the water so we can go feed the ducks. Okay. Okay, baby. Okay, man. Thanks, bub. Get on, get on. Get on, bubba. Hold on. Get up there, baby boy. What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. We're on the golf cart. We're doing farm things, and we're starting off a video just here at the house, having a good old time. Oh, back here at the ducks. Yeah, we ended up getting a little pool for the ducks. Uh-huh. Chickens, ducks, they're doing good though. Well, the old pigeon loft though. Some of the birds came back. I'm going to do a video over the entire pigeon loft to show you guys how many came back, who did and who didn't. We definitely lost some of our star pigeons in there, I'll tell you. Come on, buddy. Go on, go on. Take your seat. Oh, uh, this is Jackson's new hangout. I'm telling you what. <laughs> Oh, look at him. He loves it. You like it, buddy. It feels good in this heat, don't it? Yeah, like Mama said, he is a beached whale. Dude, you just chilling, man? Yeah? Oh, you love him. But I'm telling you what, old farm boy out here. Old farm boy out here. Mama. I'm telling this you. This is his duck that he chases all the time. Hold on. This is Bodie's every day right every day. here. Right look here. at him. Look. Yep. Look, look, look. look, look. This is Bodie. Oh, watch your head, dude. Watch your head, man. <laughs> what do you got, bub? These ducks, they grew fast, didn't they, bub? Are they big? Oh, 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 they're, that is Alpha. He is the king of all kings. And Bodie will chase him. He chases everything. But today, we got two things. Uh, we got to update you on the farm mallard, yeah, we got a mallard. We got to show them to you. We already named them. The kids named them. Bodie actually named them, didn't you, bub? Yep. Yep. Mallard the Bowed. Mallard the Bowed. Mallard the Bowed is not his name. And then, uh, yeah, I got a new truck, and I got to show it to you all. Some of you guys know what it is already. Some of you don't. And I'll explain to you why I ended up getting it, why I ended up changing. And uh, shit's a beaut. That's all I can say. It's a beauty. Weep, 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 weep. That's all you hear back here. Weep, 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 weep. Bob, what's the man bun you got? I know. Are we what do you comment about that? We're not, we're I bet you they're already there. commenting about it. Look, look, let, let me just get it straight. The man bun, I don't even like calling it a man bun. I'll call it this. It's comfortable. I like my long hair, y'all. I like it. But I wore it up the other day and it burned the crap out of my neck. It was bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know it looks goofy, but I don't care. I like it. Bubba, do you want to do some silly McWillies? Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. Bodie. We just went in with this. You did? Oh, did you bam. say bam? We went bam. Didn't we, bub? Yep. Are you going to try again? Try it again, bub. Okay. All right. Mind you, Bobby's going one mile an hour. Yeah, you, I put something on the, we put a series of photos on the Instagram the other day, and I had, I don't know, it's five or ten people. Even on my Instagram, people said, you need to put a helmet on. Put a helmet on. I'm going one mile an hour yeah, on Bobby a 90. This is, this is a 90, okay? <laughs> Come on. Might be flooded. <laughs> Come on, girl. Oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. <laughs> All right. Let's show them the duck. Want to? Make sure it's time. Yeah, let's show them the duck. So, uh, we got a mallard. A mallard. And first of all, I want to clarify one thing. First of all, you guys cannot go out and catch a wild mallard, take it back home, and keep it. That is illegal, in fact. What you can do is you can buy, you can buy farm-raised uh, bred mallards online and from other vendors, and uh, farm-raised, farm-owned mallards are legal to have. So, 
that's what we have. Bubba, I don't think he's helping the fact with the hose. So catching Millard is... Oh, you just said his name. Yeah, Millard. His name's Millard. <laughs> the kids, Bubba named him, didn't you? Or did Sissy name him? Sissy, did you name him? Yeah. Sissy named him. She said, yep. <laughs> <laughs> There he is right there, dude. He's an elusive dude. I'm telling you right now. I got to send Bodie in here. I got to send him in underneath there to go get him. Hey, Miller. His name's Millard. You know that. Will you go grab him for us? We can't fit under there. Don't mind it. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. See, I'm telling you, he's crazy. Dude. Yeah, don't get scratched, buddy. Oh, Bob got him. Yep, we got him. Easier than you thought? Huh? Easier than you thought? Yeah, well, no. Bodie scared him right to me. <laughs> Here you go. Here's old Millard the Mallard. Just an old Drake Mallard. Not an old guy. He's a young bird. But okay, I'll tell you, he's skittish. He's skittish. I'm telling you what. He's very, very skittish. He's... You want to hold him? <laughs> he's, he's extremely skittish compared to the other farm ducks. He's fast. <laughs> He's hard to catch, man. I'm telling you what. But he's a pretty mallard. Check he's out really his wings, pretty. mom. He's a good looking yeah, duck. Cool. I like the purple. Come this winter, he's gonna have a good old thick green head on him. We're gonna feed him real good, aren't we, Bubba? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bodie loves Mallard the Mallard. Aww. Oh, look, chickies. Here, yeah, baby. All right, well, it's time to put Millard back. He about escaped one time. Happened to you the other day, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, how long? That was an experience. <laughs> So how long uh, did you end up chasing Millard until you found him? Oh, we knew where he was. He was just nestled under all of Bobby's hunting gear in the shop. In the shop? In the shop, <laughs> in tunnels under hunting gear. Harper and I searched, actually tried to get him for a good 20 minutes. 20 minutes to, yeah. to wrestle old Millard. Yeah. He's crazy, I'm telling you. He's wild. He's yeah, not like he the is. other ducks. He's insane. Yeah. He's just not like the other farm ducks. He's a farm, he's farm raised. Don't get me wrong but he just isn't like these guys right here. I'm telling you, just a lot of difference here. It's crazy. Look. Yeah, the old baby pool though, it's gotta go. We're getting ready to put the pond in right here. We got the liner ready to go. Uh, Gerald, he's gonna bring a skid steer over, a bobcat, and we're gonna put us a big old hole right here. So the farm ducks, chickens, they'll have a big old pond to get in. And Bodie, he'll definitely be in there as well and goats and a miniature pony <laughs> what and what about a miniature pony goats and a miniature pony you want goats and a miniature pony yeah you want every animal on earth i'm a farm girl you're a farm girl yeah oh hashtag beth mother beth the farm girl that's me <laughs> well now it's time on to the dream truck part i'm going to tell you why i bought this truck and uh what just made me make the move check the beauty out and boys when i say beauty my dream beauty i still have it hooked up to the camper we just got back from the lake had a little family weekend at the lake and if y'all haven't seen my camper it's a toy hauler and a toy hauler anything over 24 foot man they're heavy so this unit back here yeah it is heavy when i first bought this trailer i owned a three quarter ton 5.9 liter Cummins. Now, it wasn't a mega cab like this truck, and I always told myself, if I ever buy another Cummins, it'll either be a 5.9 or the 6.7. This is the 6.7 liter Cummins. It's a 2016, has 60,000 miles on it. Yeah, it's new to me, but it's got the Longhorn interior, the brown, dark brown. It is a beauty sunroof everything absolute beauty uh wood grain absolute beauty it was just the right truck i drove by yeah look at her look look at her look <laughs> i brought it home that i so i saw it and that day i brought it home look at the front bumper led lights in the bumper uh i've already used them going down the highway and let me tell you what they will be very very nice uh, sitting up decoys in the field. I also think that I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna look like someone had one on here at one time, but I am gonna put another LED light bar on that bad boy Again for field spreads or sitting up on a pond you pull right up to it. Boom. There's all the light you need plus 
I see a little slot down here for a winch and I really do want a winch on this bad boy. That'd be nice. During guidance season, November, December, January, it can rain at any time and you might have a whoopsie, you know what I mean? But matching wheels, it's got the white wheels, moto metals, and uh, I was never really a big offset guy. See, they're, they're, they got a little offset to them. I don't like the, the big offsets and the skinny, skinny tires, but these are 37s. These are actually 37, 13, 50, 22s. And I'll tell you what, they look gorgeous on that bad boy. Uh, matching rear bumper it's got a step right there boom yesterday pulling it down the road i'm telling you what it was like this old big bertha wasn't even back there i'm telling you now like i said it's a mega cab i really wanted a mega cab but one other feature that i love about it it's got built in sorry the family tra we, we just got back from camping it's got the onboard trailer brakes and it's got an onboard engine brake, a Jake brake. Yes, I used to drive semis, and and this thing is so heavy. This whole unit that having an engine brake, it's wonderful. When you let off at 70, 65 mile an hour, you can coast, and it'll break you down to about 30, 35 mile an hour, and then you can stop from there. So this truck, uh, I didn't mean to find it. It kind of found me, to be honest. Uh, I I brought the trailer home one of the past weekends of camping at the lake and uh, it was real windy one day and the whole truck it got blown around and the trailer just moved that truck and it actually initiated on the half ton not on this truck it actually initiated the uh anti-lock brakes and it kind of sent us sideways and it was a scary deal and ever since then i'm like you know what i missed my three quarter ton y'all remember the old red girl you know the old red one we had, old 5.9, and she never let me down, and she was stock. Now, this truck is stock. I'm going to leave it stock. I, I don't need any more power than what it's pushing now. It's plenty. I mean, plenty. If you leave them stock, you don't have issues with them. I would like to get the def deleted on it, though. That's a pain in the butt. If you guys know any good places to take it to get that done, let me know down below. Mama sprayed them bad boys off. Oh, cool me down. Cool me down. That feels so good. That is the best thing. It, Come, is. it is. Come summertime, Crocs and a garden hose. She's just a beauty. I'm telling you. Come hunting season. It's going to be nice yanking them trailers around, but I wanted to show you guys. This is my uh, hitch setup. I have uh, equalizer bars on each side, and then I have a double sway system. What you do is uh, you crank these down, you tighten them down. Tighten them down the harder you tighten them down going down the highway it uh basically just prevents that trailer from swaying a bunch it's so nice especially with having old bertha pulling that trailer now but let's fire up so you guys can hear purr there is nothing better than the sound of a cummins i'm telling you right now i'm a, i'm a dodge guy if you all can't tell i i admit it now i'm serious i love me a dodge push button Fire up. Oh, she's so quiet and stock. That's what I love about it. No loud exhaust. Just good, clean stock truck. This Longhorn interior. Beautiful, y'all. Beautiful. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But like I said, completely stock. I mean, stock to the boat. Don't get me wrong, I'll eventually do some engine upgrades to it, but right now what's important to me is it came with a five year bumper to bumper complete warranty and I needed that because uh, the last Dodge, the half ton, y'all can imagine. Uh, so last year I put 38,000 miles on my truck, 37,000, hunting, hunting, hunting. I'm telling you what, scouting ducks and geese, you put a ton of miles, listen, Old, the, the wheat is coming into town heavy, y'all. Jake breaks by the house all day, every day. So, well, I don't mind it. I'm a farm boy. <laughs> but like I was saying on the half ton, man, I sank like 5,500 bucks three times to the shop. Uh, an intake problem, uh, and then an exhaust problem, and then the third thing was a front axle problem. So I'm like, you know what, if I'm going to be repairing a truck because of the miles that I put on it anyways. I might as well get one 
that I've wanted forever, you know? I know, I'm out here making excuses because it wasn't cheap, but I'm gonna use the heck out of it, especially come hunting season. So, all the clients at the lodge, uh-huh. Now, a lot of you, any of you that want to, you can ride in this bad boy with me and Fred. Here we are, we're in the lodge, and uh, you haven't got to see the little bit of progress that you may not notice with the naked, yeah. the naked eye, to the naked eye. I forget Look. everything that's been done, not seeing so it in a minute. I the know, that's air the conditioning, so we got plumbing going in for the air conditioning up yonder. And then right in here, check this out, babe. This right here, look at it, uh-huh. Wow. HVAC going into the rooms. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So all the rooms will have air. We got a shower. Heat and cool. But this right here, this is why we're here. This is why we're in here. Not a lot of updates to show y'all, to be honest. But this right here, this is a big old package that we got. And I have an idea of what it might be. An idea, not a good one. I remember the kid that was talking to me. I just cannot remember what it is. I've had a lot of people get a hold of me and want to send stuff to the lodge. And I appreciate them. I appreciate y'all. You guys are amazing. What do you got there, Bob? Ooh, I don't know, but it's looking good from what I'm seeing right here. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's heavy. Yeah, it's in there. The... Everywhere around it says, do not drop, only cut tape, fragile, fragile, do not drop. I remember you, um, and I'm bad at names. I hope you put a letter with it, and I'm pretty sure you did. Right here, look, that's a letter, I believe. Oh, awesome. Yep. We're making progress. Yep, we're getting there, we're getting oh. there. One more little cut and we'll be there. He wrapped it up real nicely. He didn't want it to get damaged. I don't blame him. Look at this. Oh, I'm ready. The we're back ready. of it, so the back of it. Engra at Engraved Outdoors, that must be his uh, Instagram handle, handcrafted by Nick Scott, 6 I'm ready to see it. Show us. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Tell me that ain't pretty. Wow. That's pretty. Good job, dude. Dang. He coated it, lacquered her up. That is really beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Look at that. It's going to go in here. so cool. It was made for this place. <laughs> I love that. It's beautiful. Thank yeah. you, Nick. Wow. Nick, dude, at hand, or sorry, engraved, at engraved outdoors right here. Go hit him up. Uh, he must have a little side business. That's amazing. Thank you, Nick. If you guys want to send anything, um, you can send a letter. That's cool. But if you want to send something like this, it's going to go on the wall somewhere oh, absolutely. in here. This is going to be out here somewhere. That's it's really beautiful. Yeah. We're going to have to find somewhere to put it, man. Right over here? Yeah, that, I know. Right, right up in the peak? So, yeah, that, that's the TV. Maybe yeah. like right in the center. Yeah, that's really cool. Right? Dear Santel Flyway, Bob and family, here is custom 100% crafted Santel Flyway sign for your lodge. I recently started to film all my hunts and there are several reasons why, but one reason is by just watching how much fun you have with your videos. So I decided to start my own at engraved underscore outdoors. I have an Instagram, Facebook, and now YouTube all under the name engraved outdoors. I enjoy watching your videos and you're one of the reasons in the last three years that I have really picked up waterfowl hunting. I hope you and the family plus all your soon to be guests can enjoy the sign. Can't wait to see the lodge all done and up and running and maybe someday I'll be able to come and visit for a hunt and check out the sign once again. Till then, hope you can keep up the amazing videos and lodge build. Thanks. Dude. Nick Scott. Nick Scott. Solid dude. Solid <laughs> dude. And for him to incorporate the fact that he's been watching the channel and that it pushed him to start his own little company that he's doing and then reach out and send us something that's just cool. right there. That's a prime example. And we talk about it all the time. If you get an idea and you want to do something in life, just go do it. Just go do it. Don't think about it twice. Go do it. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about what other people think. Oh, I could do better than him. Oh, that ain't good enough. I could, Nick. You ups to else. you, don't, ups to you. Also, don't think about how many years it may take you to get somewhere. Yeah. Because I completed many years of school and if I were like, oh, well, that's gonna take five years of my time, then I never would have done it. But I was like, you know what? Five years are gonna go by anyway. Yep. So just work at it every day and eventually you'll get there. Big shout out, Nick. Uh, you're a prime example of uh, entrepreneurs out there that wanna take a leap of faith and try something. 
I'm telling you guys, if you have something, a passion, chase it. Try. Try your, try your damnedest. Don't give up if it don't work right off the bat, because I'm telling you, it's not going to. It takes effort. Props to you, Nick. Thank you for the uh, custom sign. It will match all of the timber, all of the wood accents that we're going to have, that we're going to have out here perfectly. Your gift was amazing. If you guys want to send anything to the lodge, what do they need to do, babe? So I guess they mail it to your P.O. box. Yeah, I was like, is she going to know the spiel or not? <laughs> exactly. The P.O. box is down in the Maybe. description. Yeah, d tell them. Down in the, in the description, description box below. <laughs> I got to hire her to start saying that for me. I say it too much. But if you're going to send anything, just make sure it's safe, legal, and respectful. And if it's for the lodge, that's just an extra bonus. But uh, what's your thoughts on the old girl? What are you thinking? She's a beaut. She's a beaut. It's a loud diesel truck again. It's not loud. It don't it's have- a little bit louder than your old truck. Oh, it's a little bit louder than your old truck. No, the, the red 5.9 liter had an exhaust- I have PTSD from that truck. It was so <laughs> rough on every single, and we lived in the country, so we had to drive down every single dirt road. Uh huh. And it was, Real rough, but this one's loud, not near as bad. Not relaxing. This one's much better. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. It is a beauty. Yeah, she's a big girl. She is a beauty. It's just it, having a mega cab is my dream truck. Not a mega cab gas engine. A mega cab Cummins. Yeah. Yeah, she's baby. pretty. I know. She is. Bob it's, loves her so. Oh. Just here to support Bob. <laughs> But subscribe if you haven't. Uh, smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. This is just a chill video at home. I wanted to show you uh, Millard the Mallard. I wanted to show you the new beauty behind us. And uh, I wanted to have Beth on a video because she hasn't been on one for quite some time. And we make good videos together. If you all agree, let us know down in the comment section that below. Was wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that. <laughs> but until next time. Deuces. Oh. <laughs> I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.